you can make money off of this if you run it well as a business. AR Platinum does it very effectively. Um, there are a couple other guys who have done it and whatnot, and I'm not hating on that and whatnot because that's cool. You can do it. You want to do it. That's fine. And DePaul does it as a business too. That's fine. That's his thing. Okay. Um, I've always said, join whatever group breaks you want. doesn't matter how much it is and whatnot. Don't tell anybody you're getting ripped off in a group break because it's like walking in the store and buying a $5,000 TV. If you're buying a $5,000 TV and you walk out and then you see the same television for $3,000 in another store, don't claim that you got ripped off. No, you ripped yourself off by walking in a store and buying a television that was $2,000 more than another store that you could have went to if you had done your comparative price shopping, but you obviously didn't. So as far as that goes, I never feel anybody's ripping anybody off as far as price goes. Uh, but obviously the undercutting wasn't need to be done. Um, I only wanted to, like I said, I wanted to prove my point that like, you know, from the monetary standpoint, I didn't care about it. I just wanted guys to have fun in my blog room, get some cars at a cheap discounted rate and whatnot, and that's what it was. All right, so that's that. And my last point, Okay, my last point before I get to individuals that I want to address. Excuse me. My last point is that uh, is the thing about ops. All right. It seems that people have either a a a, a selective hearing or they interpret things and twist them and exaggerate them um, in a sycophantic way, in a way that that serves their own purpose. Okay. And when I mentioned ops, I mentioned ops because I've walked into rooms, I've supported guys on group breaks, I've been op for it. Okay, cool, whatever, you know what, that's that's fine and dandy. And then I've walked into the same rooms a couple of weeks later, three weeks later, and I've been removed as ops. And my only point is that's a slap in the face to me, because I see all these other guys that are ops, and I'm like, wow, you know, like, you were like, here you were slaving to get a group break filled, and you couldn't get your group break filled. And I helped you out not once, but twice or three times, and... I come into your room and that's how you, and you just slap me in the face by just removing me as an op. Ops don't mean anything, okay? Giving somebody ops doesn't mean anything. It's one of the reasons I moved to Ustream also because I don't want to have to deal with this drama of moderators and operators and whatnot. But to remove an operator from somebody who has supported you, um, whether it be via plugs or, or financially or whatnot, that's not cool, man, because that is a slap in the face. And you know that. Every single person out there knows that. And it really doesn't want make me as an individual want to help you out anymore. Um, you know, it's just, it is what it is. I spoke my I spoke my piece on it. Everybody took it. And they thought that I was crying over spill milk and operator privileges. No, that's not what it was. As a matter of fact, some of the same people who have been commenting on text boxes, uh, on text responses and uh, rant videos, uh, talking about how I was complaining about operators. So some of the same people who when they come into my room or when they used to come into my room, they used to op each other. So they felt like they had operator privileges in my room without anybody even asking me about ops and whatnot. One guy comes in, or oh, four guys come in, one guy gets ops and then he gives the other three guys ops and whatnot. It works like a click. It's like a high school thing. I get it. I understand that. Cool. Move on. Next. Um, and I'm going to get to all the individual responses now. Before I do that, one more time, I want to apologize to uh, pretty much 99% of the community out there who did take offense, who didn't understand where I was coming from, who didn't know my personality, and, you know, frankly speaking, you know, I did at points come across very aggressively and maybe in a, in a half condescending manner and whatnot. And I can acknowledge that. I hope you do see that. I hope you see I'm genuine, my apology and whatnot. Um, you know, it is what it is. As far as the individual rants go, one thing I don't tolerate is slander. I do not tolerate slander. Um, I don't condone or tolerate people calling me a terrorist, people calling me Arab, people calling me Dr. Meth user, um, pedophile, never looked at child porn, uh, jihad, um, that's to me is one of the worst things that you can do. Um, rant and get your opinions across. If you're not happy with something I said, respond to it. That's fine. I can deal with it. I'm a man. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you like a man, too. But do not, do not, do not slander me like that. Do not defame me like that. Because that's something that I really don't take to very well. Um, I'm not out here to ever really uh, cut at somebody's person, you know, persona like that or anything like that. You'll never hear anything like that from me. Um, so I would really appreciate that as far as that goes. Um, I'm going to go over some of these guys. Redman, Scott, um, 
real funny. You were one of the guys who ranted on me after a lot of other people ranted because, like a bandwagoner, um, you decided to hop aboard everybody's ranting. You supported me in the room yesterday. You were all about this revolution, you know, whatever. You saw exactly my intent. You knew exactly what I was talking about. Yet the next day you went and you made a rant video about me. There's a reason you're banned from Truth's room. There's a reason you're banned from End of Paul's room. And now there's a reason you're banned from my room, as a matter of fact, too. You've done this once before in the summer um, where you called me out for being a terrorist and this and that. And... I actually PM'd you and I said, how would you how would you feel if I you know talked about your your Holocaust you know background or whatnot? And you got really offended by that. You said, never tell me what is just exactly my point. Never ever start a fire. Never do that because you don't know how it'll end up burning you. Don't do that, Rad Man. I really 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 would encourage you not to do that kind of stuff. Um, as far as your cards go, about you ranting me about not getting them to you, you said they were well over a month ago. No, they weren't. They were 22 days ago. We had PM'd each other on, on Thursday night in blog when we were together when I made that video and I told you if they haven't gone out that Thursday, they're going out on Monday, yet you still decide to create the rant video on it. Oh, and yeah, by the way, I do have the conversation screenshotted. So unless you want me to um, display that for everybody, I would really recommend that you take that rant video down. Um, it's really not cool to play both sides of the field like that. Um, really, I just I couldn't believe you did that a second time, bro. Um, Tennis Pimp 3, uh, a guy that I've always joked around with and whatnot, um, but I've always been pretty cool with him and whatnot. Same thing, supported me in the room. Posted the first comment on my thing, removed it, then ended up posting on Truth's video. It's cool. You have a right to your opinion and whatnot, but I have a right to mine too. Um, and if you felt a certain way, you could have expressed it to me and whatnot. But again, like Radman, you just decided to flip-flop sides and whatnot. And uh, that's the kind of stuff that I don't need around here because that's the kind of stuff that creates trauma. So, uh, Bob Gibson fan, Frank. Um, I respect you, dude. Frank, I've never had a problem with you, honestly. Um, you're one of my favorite guys on here uh, since I've subbed to you. Um, you're right. No one took YouTube. Um, yours was one of the rant videos I actually thought was pretty funny. I understand there's an evolution to uh, um, what's going on, and the, we do have to have more group breaks and raffles and stuff like that, and I encourage that. There's nothing wrong with that. My only point, like I said, was I did want to see some just more basic cards of guys and trading and stuff like that. Again, I came about it the wrong way, but I do respect your opinion. I've never had beef with you. Like I said, my title was for dramatic effect with the whole revolution. I know you were like, revolution? What are you talking about? Um, that's really what it was. Frank, you don't know me very well, I guess. You haven't been in my blog rooms that often yet. But if you get to know me, hopefully, um, if you still, whatever, sub to me, watch me, if you still interact with me, you'll get to know that I am pretty silly in that way. And uh, <laughs> I don't really don't mean um, any harm in the, in the stuff that I say from that. Um, you know, I mean, my thing was I was just tired of the big group breakers dominating blog and taking stuff away from smaller group breakers um, who are in blog trying to do stuff, and I do try to support those guys. Uh, was it the wrong way about uh, to go about it? Yeah, absolutely. And for that, I truly apologize. And Bob Gibson fan, I respect your opinion for that. Um, and the same goes for Neil Neil, Neil Neil 13, I believe name is. Um, uh, you had a good, solid video up too. I respect what you had to say. I know I didn't come across the right way. Um, you mentioned that. I took that to heart. And for that, I apologize. Um, I'm glad that you do appreciate a lot of stuff that I do do. And again, I have nothing against you. Actually, we've been cool each other, with each other in the room. So again, I, I respect that. Back in Cali, I've always had n nothing bad to say about you. Honestly, we've joked about it. We've joked all the time. We've talked about Diane Lane, this and that. And it was a little disheartening for you to see to, to see somebody like you not come to me face to face and being like a PM, like, yo, what up, AZ? What's going on with that? Like, why would you come across? Were you drinking? Were you buzzed? Were you sick? Were you this or you that? No, instead I got a rant video from you. And uh, that was really disappointing to see, too, because back in Cali, somebody that I really considered a friend here. And uh, I'm sorry you felt that way. Honestly, I really am. I can't do anything to change your opinion. I have nothing to say to you. Um, I guess just refer to everything I said about Bob Gibson fan. Um, <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. Um, no, this is this is where it's going to get a little bit tricky. Uh, Third Million Sports Card, Ron, uh, same thing. You got a funny video. You looped me, you edited me, saying all those profane words and whatnot. Cool, funny. I get it. If you never want to talk to me again, cool. Understand. Done with it. Uh, 